If you are a kettlebell beginner, I got something for you. Check the first link in the description. It leads to a free kettlebell workout course where you find 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts. Click the link, sign up, and enjoy. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. This video you're about to watch is from our Friday live sessions where we hop on the stream, have communication and communion with our subscribers and we talk about kettlebells, we teach you stuff, tutorials, workouts, whatever have you. Make sure to tune in next time we are live. So in this particular instance, the subscriber asked, what is the difference between a windmill and a bend press and are there any benefits? And I just want to preface the video before we get started with this simple statement. I think a windmill is a cool exercise that helps you develop shoulder mobility and shoulder strength. And I think the bench press is a cool exercise that pertains to the old school way of lifting. There's a lot of fun and it improves your kinesthetic sense. And I think if you're really good at it, you might be able to lift and hoist some weights that you're not able to press or lift with a regular press. That being said, I think the windmill and especially the bench press, bench press are highly advanced exercises. And most people are just perfectly fine with a swing, a press and a snatch. I would say, the bench press is harder. And let me demonstrate for those of you who don't know these two exercises. This is a windmill setup. Wait, now the windmill starts. Now with the windmill, I would maybe assume that your shoulder, your stabilizers, you improve st the strength endurance on a higher level, I would say, because you keep the arm extended and you maybe also do some additional mobility work. With the bent press, let me demonstrate, which is, it ends up in a windmill, kind of. Watch this. And let me demonstrate this again. Watch what I do. I've, I've uh, created this idea. I, go up and then i go under the weight again now it's a lighter weight funny thing is i can do this exercise better with a heavier weight because it forces me to so with the bench press you are using your kinesthetic sense maybe to a greater extent um it's it's a harder exercise to learn it's not i wouldn't even say i don't even Think that most people need the bench press. I just love it. What I like to do is I like to clean and bench press. So instead of just doing a regular press, I'm doing this idea of moving around the weight and I Not demonstrating the perfect technique right now because of the because the weight is a little bit light. And and the idea of a bench press is you have to use heavier weight because then it forces you to move away from the weight instead of pressing it. But I have to admit that I have been doing the bench press now for a couple of weeks or months even, and I still don't. Ah, I like it, but it's not like. I'm not as solid as with a jerk, but I think it takes some time. So with a advantage, hard to say. I would just say that the bend press is harder to do. And if you were to ask me, Gregory, what makes more sense, a bend press or a windmill, I would probably say just focus on the windmill because most people have to learn the side hinge. Pavel describes it so beautifully. He says it's a side hinge with a spine rotation, right? Side hinge, T-spine rotation. So people have to learn this. First. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it and consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle, and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Leberstock Academy. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.